super glue on my fingers and put thumbtacks at the end of them and I'll say meow meow and I'll claw at it and then I'll jack it off with my fingernails <laughs> oh yeah something tells me that wouldn't feel very good I have drugs <laughs> the doctor said I can uh, I can do all the pain pills that they give me at hospice because it's a special circumstantiary Mm, hospice didn't come see you, right? Yeah, hospice comes and sees me twice a day. That's what hospice is. The way I don't die. Mm. Is, is it water? Do you know what hospice is? Oh, yeah, I know what hospice is. Well, if you need advanced yeah, yeah. medical... Guys, don't fucking... Out of my ear. If you need advanced medical, like, fucking services or whatever, so you don't die, that's what they're there for. Or if you're, like, gonna die no matter what, and you need lots of, like, adjustments for comfort or whatever. But that's what, um, that's what my lawyer told me, so I get to be, hi, hi, motherfuckers. Hootie who? Yeah. Hootie who, Alon? Hospice game. Who's there? I said Hootie who, Lauren. I put my glasses on because I'm really. Do what? The fuck? I hate it when people say do what. Ugh. So stupid. I said you what? I took a shit in my hand and I threw it at the nurse. Anyway, what'd you say? I did. If you're gonna bring me some shitty ass meatloaf with mashed potatoes and no gravy, you deserve to get shit thrown at you. And I'm dying, by the way, but I can't even eat it because they're gonna put the tube up my nose again because it keeps throwing up. No, you're not going to die. Don't be saying that. I'm going to claw your balls with thumbtack fingertips before I die. Um, you'll be doing that a lot. I sure will. You're not going to die, so stop saying that. Why? Because you're going to stay, stay alive with me. Staying alive. Um, did you get some sleep? Are you horny? I am horn. Yeah, I'm so horn. No, are you horny? Oh, no, no, I just woke up. Well, wake up that cock. Mm-hmm. My cock's gonna rest. You know... Mm -hmm. Did you get some good sleep? Yeah, I had a lot of drugs. How long have you slept? Uh, I went to bed at uh, like 10. Right at the big brother. I uh, watched... Big brother, and I went to bed. You watched your big brother do what? Is that a porno? Oh, the show. Mm. Show, big brother. Jack off all over my face, big brother. 
come on uh, my eyelids. Is that what you like, you fucking pig? Yeah, okay. Wish I could. You want your sperm to plaster my eyelids closed so when you take me to the deli, nobody will talk to me? Yeah. Because I won't be able it's to look idea. at other men. It's a good idea. We'll try that. What? Really? Yeah. You'd want to plaster my eyelids closed with your ejaculate. And take me in public so I can't look at other men. Are you kidding? Good idea. Let's do it. <laughs> Why, you don't think it's a good idea? No. Well, why would you come up with it? I don't know. You didn't expect me to say you had a good idea, let's do it. You wouldn't expect me to say that, were you? I try to sound like you. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, um, I didn't expect you to say that, so I'd, uh, I'd go very long while. I, I sent Emma a picture of my hemorrhoid today. <laughs> You sent a picture of your what? My hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids? Who did that to? Emma. And I said, hey, girl. All right. You get enough sending any pictures like that to her. That's not nice. You don't need to. I told her she could Just send it. I told her she couldn't send it to Dan. Um, that's just trying to start crap. Don't need the drama. How did you know I was trying to start to crap? It wouldn't crown. Like, I tried to take the picture. I kept slipping back in. We need to not do that stuff. Just leave it in the at home. I got the um, dry erase marker that they use for my wall. And I, <laughs> I put a dot on it and said, look, now I have a birthmark like you and it's prettier and Dan would rather kiss this. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Well, I don't know why you keep doing that one day. Because <laughs> I'm a funny girl, you sad. Yeah, uh, we've been in them a lot. All right, but I texted right. Dan, too. You texted Dan, too. What did you say to Dan? Uh -huh. Um, I asked if you wanted to see my butthole mall. Hello. I asked if you wanted to see my butt homo as a joke. What do you do? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I didn't. That was funny, yeah, huh? Good. Thank you. Oh, not to me, you know. Goodbye. What? Why are you saying K bye? Uh -huh, cause it makes you mad. Huh? Cause it makes you mad. It's cute. I don't have very much entertainment. Uh -huh. All I have is Animal Planet. Oh, uh, so much entertainment. <laughs> yeah, it is. I wish you were here. I would <laughs> kiss your fat tooth. Um, Stop doing no, that. I, you well, I had to yawn. You smell I like poop. Just wake up, you know. No, I smell good. <laughs> there, I had a 
love you like that. I think I think you didn't tell me earlier. It wasn't the same fire. It was a different line. It came out of my ass. Yeah, I feel good, huh? Yeah, all the flies are moving away from your house and they're flying over here to see what died. Surprise, it's me. Because I'm dying. That's funny, huh? It was stuff that was in your butt. <laughs> Just like your mom. Uh, um, what about my mom? That's what was in my butt. <laughs> yeah, just like your mom, you mean? No, I shit your mom out in a little pink throw-up dish. All right, come <laughs> on. Some say foolish. Some say foolish stuff to offend people. And then Brenda came and wiped my butthole. Huh? <laughs> And then Brenda came and wiped my bow. I don't know who Brenda is. Brenda. Brenda's got a baby. After I die, I'm probably going to reincarnate and like come out of her <clears throat> vagina as the baby. And then you'll want to fuck me yeah, yeah. again because I'll be the baby. Yeah. You're not going to die. Think positive, you can be out here with me. Do you ever, like, think it's funny that the real Casey Morel thinks you're a pedophile and disgusting, but I love you? I'm not a pedophile. I'm not, a pedophile and I'm not disgusting. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying Casey thinks that, but you loved her. <laughs> um. Do I think Casey thought that? No. No, I'm telling you she did. He thought she was flirting with you and everything. <laughs> he thought you were going to fuck Casey Morrell. Uh. <laughs> I love I'm you, so like... baby. You're so cute and stupid. I just want to suck your cock. <laughs> well, no, do that. You can come here. <laughs> No, the community is going to get better. All right. That sounds like a good idea. Huh? Oh, oh, Jesus. God, you're an old man. Hey, what? You probably just, like, reached over to scratch your knee or something, and that's why you fucking started grunting like that. I just stretched. Uh -huh. I had to stand up. So I came on to get a cigarette. So do you still think that Casey is the only thing that came out of the sting that was good? Um, no, I think, yeah, I think the other biggest thing that came out of the sting that was that's what's the best. Okay. But you don't think that, you don't think that the best thing was that you didn't like molest a little girl after all since you were fucked up in the house. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't what thing. I thought you were talking about us. Yeah, the sting, 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 sting. Oh, sting! The sting. I thought you said thing. No, I got a thing for you though, baby. It's up my dress. Yeah, well, it's, it's always good that I didn't molest a little girl. I want but you to molest Anyway. Me. Huh? I want you to molest me. One of my clits is leaking pre-cum. Okay. Don't be masturbating. Yeah, you'll get she do that. Were you shitting? I'm not I'm not gonna mess with it right now. It's the middle of the night. What the hell would I wanna do that right now for?
I didn't say masturbating. You were here. I said shitting. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Ugh. I'm going to make me a little bit of coffee. What's coffee? Coffee. Coffee, coffee. <laughs> I don't have to be at work till eight. Really? The train doesn't get there till eight, so yeah, the train doesn't get there till eight, so can't get any containers off the train until the train gets there. Hold on. I'm holding. Hello? Hi, honey. Hi. You see me? You see the pictures I sent you? Yeah, they're gross. The, the, the trees that are gross? You're all sweaty. Oh, yeah. I was working. I'd get some stuff done here. Well, I mean, it was pretty hot. I mean, it was no Dan, but it was pretty hot. <laughs> there you go again. You oh, come on. Can you? Come on. I liked the nature well, I'm pictures. I'm going to tell you it's funny, it's not. Yeah, it is. I liked the nature pictures. What nature picture? Nature. Nature? Yeah, the pictures of nature you sent me. Did you think that was pretty cool? Get that big trees down? Yeah, I think it's really destructive and stupid, too. Yeah, well, it's going to be done. <laughs> There's, I had to get on top of one of the trees to Oh, I ain't done with that one yet. Can I see you? Uh, what are you doing? You're grunting like you're too fat to move. No, I'm sitting in my office chair and I went to put my leg up in it and it pushed it on me. Turned. I used my leg to pull it backward. Pull it back to position. That's weird. What the fuck's you know? wrong with you? And not a thing. You're sitting in your office chair? And kitchen table, yep. Yeah. You, you use an office chair at your kitchen table? Yep. Why? Because it's comfortable. And I can sit back in it and get your legs and. It has your ass grease. And like it what? It has your ass grease. It has my ass green? Grease. Oh. No, my ass not green. No grease, like a greasy piece of chicken. Oh, my ass grease. <laughs> yeah, and all the cream that comes out of your ass from Roy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, I don't know about you. Um, <laughs> That's a big laugh. <laughs> it's called oxycodone, bitches. Oh man, that hurts my throat. Bitches. Well, stop doing that. Stop. If it hurts your throat, stop doing it. You make yourself uh, throat sore. I get out of breath when I yell. <laughs> no, don't yell. Earlier I woke up, I thought there were snakes all over me. Do what? 
Why don't you listen to me when I talk? What are you doing? Well, I, I do. Sometimes you, you know, you bring your voice up high like that, and it's not your actual voice. It's harder to it hear. Is you understand voice. what you're saying? I have to use oxygen saving techniques when I speak because my oxygen levels are low. I have to speak in a way that is not going to require me to exert too much oxygen and pull down from my diaphragm to reach, just to speak. So when I scream or whatever, it feels like an adrenal end rush. Um, so you feel like you're high? Yeah. Yeah, but then you use too much oxygen and it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, an easy way to solve that. What? Don't scream. Uh, <laughs> I showed your cock to my nurse. No, yeah. Yeah. I told yeah, but, him if it was yeah, bigger than the national average. I thought she didn't have any pictures of my cock on your phone. No, this was before when I was with Rudy. Oh. I said, I have a medical <laughs> question for you. Is this cock the same uh, length as the national average because you're a nurse? And he said, uh, I can tell you from my personal experience, baby, it's probably a little bit smaller. <laughs> I was laughing so sure, hard. Sure he did. All right. Sure he did. Let's call him and ask. <laughs> I have his number. No. 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 Stop doing that shit. <laughs> I remember from the last hey. nurse's station. I know the extension. Well, uh, don't be calling him. You're thinking of really sucking a cock, and now you have a big wet spot on your office chair? Yeah, um, no. Are you naked? Yeah. Maybe now is a good time to send Rudy a picture of your dick so he can tell you if it needs surgery to straighten it out. <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> oh, you don't like my dick the way it is? No, it's fucked up. Sorry. Huh? I said no, it's fucked up. Um, so I get to get it for someone else? No, dummy. I just proposed we got it fixed. What the hell's wrong with you? You're so fucking lame. <laughs> uh, you didn't send me a picture of you yet. You sent me, you're supposed to send me a picture yesterday. I know. Oh goodness. They have an they have a penis curvature correction device called Unbend Me. I looked it up. Called oh, Unbend Me? Yeah. It's okay if it goes like up a little bit, because then it can thump your G spot when you're fucking but if it goes to the side, you'll just keep slipping out. Like I'll have to like learn how to bone from side to side instead of front to back. It's weird. They have another device for it too. What, Roy's mouth? Uh, <laughs> it already made it crooked. So I'll stick it in me. All right, I'll stick it in you, but you're probably going to have to get an asshole relocation because it's not long enough. No, you'd have to be reading it to me, though. <laughs> when you were little, did you used to, like, show off to the other boys that you could pee to the side, like, around a corner and water a plant from around the corner? No, I never used to pee with other, other kids. Did they make fun of you in the locker room because your cock looked like it was deformed? Like a, somebody ripped no. a bone out of a baby's arm and it just hung there? 
No. Any other questions? <laughs> Would you um, suck on my hemorrhoid if it felt good? I'm not going to suck on anybody's hemorrhoid. <laughs> Come on. It's blocking my butthole. You're going to have to move it if you want to lick it. No, that's easy. I use my finger to move it. No, your tongue, baby. Lick my hemorrhoid. Um, excuse me. I remember once I was um, on a photo shoot and Mr. Stanley had a hemorrhoid. And he always did his photo shoots naked. So, like, anytime he would bend over, there were mirrors all around so he could get a shot of me. I could see his hemorrhoid. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, but he was kind of hot. He had a trophy, like, I was so proud of it. Oh, yippee. He was doing naked photo shoots with you. He was a cameraman, he was doing, he was naked doing photo shoots of you. Yeah. He doesn't call me a professional. I was like Terry Richardson. He's that scumbag that takes so, pictures so. of women for Vogue. He's like their head photographer. Look him up. It's a common practice. Yeah, that's because they're horny. And they won't take your lead. Penile, penile surgery costs $9,000. It could be up to 1500 though. Um, why do I care about that? Honey, it's for corrective surgery. Mm, there ain't nothing wrong with mine. You know how some people mine go works to, just fine. You know how some people go to the surgeon with a picture of a nose and they say, That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna get a picture of Dan's yeah. dick and drag you into the plastic surgeon's office. Uh, you know You know I get irritated with that. Uh, but that would be hot. If you could fuck me with a cock like Dan's, oh my god, I would break out of here and get on the Greyhound with my oxygen mask. My dick's not good enough for you. Why do you want me? Well, it's good enough for me, but it's not, it's not enough for me to, like, go to Maine right now on this date. Besides, I want you, not your dick. Okay, well, I'm here, so you want to go out and come here? All right, so are you proposing that I leave all my medical equipment and services to go out there and be with you? No, I mean, it's probably the way to feel better. Yeah, and you know, have you ever heard of, like, this guy? I think his name is Marvin Gaye. I've heard of him. He does a song called Sexual Healing. And maybe if Dan can come visit me, I can get better and go visit you in Maine after he heals me. Yeah, you know, why don't we just break up and then you can go after Dan? No, I want to do it while we're together. It'll just be like a medical procedure, like a gynecologist. Um, if you keep saying that shit, we're gonna break up. Why? Because I'm tired of it. I've told you that so many times, and I'm just tired of it. You want to fuck Emma and wipe your pre cum on No, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. All right. Tried to tell you that. She was not funny to me. I'm just horny for you. Well, if you're horny for me, then talk about me. Not a small guy. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. <coughs> All right, hello? Hey. 
Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Hello? Hey, um, I wanted to apologize. Don't hang up. Oh, uh, don't start this shit again. No, I just want to apologize. Hear me out, please. Daniel, come on. All right, what do you want? I really appreciate you not suing me. And I think you should be nice to Emma because it's not her fault. She just wants Lauren to be happy and be her friend. And I want to be friends again. And I won't do any sexual shit. I already told you I'm not going to sue you. So you don't have to keep fingering my asshole about this. Okay? I don't have my finger anywhere near your asshole. I'm just trying to pretend to be a friend with maybe like one arm around your shoulder. Not suggestively at all. It's just an expression. Oh, wow. Well. You know, Me meaning you don't have to keep blowing in my ear. You got what you want, so let's just leave it at that. You're lucky I don't sue you. Well, I thought maybe we could rekindle our platonic friendship. I, I don't, I don't see that happening. I'm really sorry, and the dance was really good, and it got a lot of positive attention. People are loving it. It's not a bad thing. You're not fired yet. And did you die? No. That's my private personal property. You had no right to take that. Well, I removed it. I reported it to the, the server host. How many times has it been downloaded? Like fewer than 2,000. Not even that much. Oh, that's just fucking great. That's just fucking great. But listen, your face only showed for like 12 seconds of it. The Do you think that that's appropriate? The rest of the 12 minutes, it was just your ass pumping into Emma and her pussy and her titties. And nobody even knew that it was you guys. Do you think that's appropriate? I think it's not appropriate. And that's why I extend my heartfelt apology to you. You don't come off very apologetic. I apologize. I even like cut off the top of the video so nobody could see that you had a mullet. Well, they could see it from the back though, from the way Emma put the phone up. So where do we go from here? I would love for you to take my hand in friendship. Seriously? Yeah, and, and go Go and have sex with Emma. She really needs it. She's uptight. She needs you to, like, fuck her good, and you guys will be back together, and I'll feel better than I wouldn't... I didn't break you guys up. I know exactly what I need to do with Emma. I don't need your input on that. And by the way, I didn't have a mullet. She likes a lot of stuff. Do you want to know all the stuff she likes? I can tell you. I don't need you to tell me. Oh, yeah? What does she like? Why do I need to tell you? You need to concentrate on fixing your relationship with Lauren. Well, you need to please your woman, and she wouldn't be going after my boyfriend. Because this whole time, you had me and that poor man at direct opposition with each other, at odds with each other. You were lying on both sides, making enemies out of us. You don't feel bad about that? I I'm innocent in this, and Lorne is innocent in this. You're the guilty party. That's where the party's at. Actually, I have a, a bedside commode. The party's right next to me. What does that have to do with anything? Because you said party. <laughs> I said party, not party, 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 whatever. Uh, Don't put words in my mouth. I really like your accent. I think we should be friends. Why? So you can... Uh... You sound like my Lorne sometimes because of the way he says his R's. It's, it's really like something I think that 
that um, is special about you and I want to be your friend. Would you just want more Taco Bell and supersizing the fries? Yeah, I'd love that. Thank you, sweetie. But I need you to call Emma and get back with her, okay? No, I need. I know what I need to do with them. You concentrate on you and Lauren. Are you going to go fly and see her? You don't need to know that. You should supersize her inner fry. <laughs> you, have, you have been nothing but poison to our relationship. You should go inflate her fry box so she'll fall in love with you again and I won't feel bad. Now, have you taken care of everything with Lauren? I'm trying. I'm like... I told him the truth about everything, and your little bitch cunt girlfriend went over into my phone, and she, like, got all my information, and she saw the picture of your butt and your front and your underwear, and he knows about that, but he forgave me, and I want you to forgive me, too. Now, you just called my girlfriend a, a what? What was that you called her? I called her um, a bootleg 007. What does that even mean? She's a shitty investigator, and I don't like her. But I, I will like her if you're my friend. She exposed your funky ass. Yeah, I know. And she was a bitch to do that while I was on the phone with Lauren. No, you're the bitch. You deserved an opportunity to have me tell him privately, not hear it from Emma when she wanted him to You're hear the it. bitch. Why? Because you started all this shit. Do you think Lauren's a bitch? Because he's still talking to me. I think Lauren is a good guy. Well, he really needs me to feel comfortable and the only way I'll feel comfortable is if you're my friend again well I guess it looks like he's got a long way ahead of him feeling uncomfortable I don't know what you want me to do I want you to call, be my friend call Lauren right now alright Lauren I'm calling him right now Lauren Lauren what I'm trying to apologize and he won't accept. He will not accept. And that's up to him. That's not up to me. Did you hear what he said about you? Lauren, what's going on here? Lauren, he called you, um, a, I think he called you a bad name. No, he didn't. I, I didn't call him a bad name, you fucking cunt. Well, listen, I need you to just be my friend and be there you for me. You need to shut the fuck up. Will you send me... Gonna, will you send I'm me... I'm gonna punch you in the fucking teeth. Send me a picture of your face. Fuck you, cunt. I, I, you know what? I think I'm gonna sue you. Go ahead, sue me, fucking... There's gonna be a fucking lawsuit here. Donkey dick motherfucker, you and your deformed, big, weird monster cock. No wonder Emma doesn't want you anymore. She can't handle it. Wendy. What? Stop your stupid bullshit. Dan, you hear how he's talking to me? Ha ha. Come See? On. You're my friend. Even your boyfriend knows that you're fucking worthless. Defend me, Dan. Wendy, Dan? if you wanted him to befriend you, you would be nice. You wouldn't be mean. You wouldn't say stupid things like that. But he's See not... See what I'm talking about, Lauren? He's not trying to be my friend. I'm trying... Well, you've done some mean things to him. Of course, he's going to be mad. You need to give him time to, to not to get over this. What you did was not nice. Well, Emma's not mad at me for that. Well, Everybody knows what it looks like when she's coming. And whose fault is that? Listen. Yours, because you have the magic dick, I guess. I don't know. You're a fucking animal. Oh. But I don't care about that. Yeah. I just want to be your friend. Come on. Lord, what's going on well, here? Come on, Dan. If, 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 Wendy, 
you want him to be your friend, you're going to start being nice to him and to his girlfriend. Exactly. It's not what we The mean that bullshit. I don't want to be disrespectful to you, Juan, but you need to put this cunt in check before I do. You know what? I just think that maybe you and Lauren should have a talk because you made her come in like seven times. And Why do you have minutes. to keep saying that? Because I want him to learn how to do that to me. Be my friend. Be Lauren's friend. I am Lauren's friend. Tell him how you did that to Emma to make her eyes like fall out. Wendy. Of Wendy. What? You need to stop being offensive. Stop being mean. Never mind what Dan and Emma do. What Dan and Emma do needs to be totally different from what me and you do. So you need to just stop, period. I want to be... You're not friend. scoring points with anyone. I have no uh, no doubt in my mind that Lorne doesn't know what to do. He knows all about the tongue tornado, the slithering snake. He knows all about that. Does he know how to tune in Tokyo? Tune in Tokyo. He knows all that stuff. Oh, I Dan, my mom. Dan grabbed Emma's titties and he twisted her nipples and he said, oh, I'm tuning in Tokyo <laughs> in the video. Lorne, say something. Wendy, you need to stop. But it was funny, though. It was like, I, I was applauding your, your humor, Dan. Wendy, you just lost the two best friends that you ever could have. I'm trying to get it back. How are you trying to get it back? Talking shit. I'm apologizing, and I'm telling you, you looked great in the video, and I want you and Emma to be in love again. I'm trying to make you happy. And then you're talking about my big, huge, fat boner going in and out of the cunt. Well, yeah. Why, why are you doing that? Because it was like 10 minutes worth of the video. You know, no. the, well, you need to stop mentioning the video. You need to stop talking about his dick and about her cunt. Exactly. It was that is none of your business. Video, not 10. Let, let's not sell me short here. Well, didn't she know she was going to meet up with you? Why didn't she shave her pubes? Long, hard strokes. Yeah, I know. Lauren, see? Listen, take notes. I'm Pussy not taking any like, notes. Pussy felt like velvet. Oh, my... All right, Dan, so we're friends. Now, you're sharing such intimate detail. All right, is that all? Will you be my... Will you please be my friend? We'll see. Baby steps. Yeah. I'm sorry, Dan. Thank you for all the tacos. All right. Lauren, how you doing? I'm doing good. How good. you doing, Dan? You know, every day is an everyday struggle, you know? Ha ha, Dan. Lauren was oh, on yeah, the phone the whole time. <laughs> what? How are you, sir? What? I'm sorry. I was just making a joke about the animal planet. Hold what on. is she talking about? Hold on. They're going to... Can you crush it up in applesauce, please? So, Dan, are you going to come to California so you can make up with Emma and take her on a nice date with, like, champagne and everything? Me and Emma are working our issues out. You are? Did you talk to her? We. You don't need to know that. Yeah, I do. I really want to know that what why, I do. Why, why are you all up in everybody else's Kool-Aid? Because I'm, I'm really sick, and I don't know what's going to happen to me. And I want to die knowing that I didn't do anything to hurt you guys. But the problem is, is you're all up in my Kool-Aid and you don't even know the flavor. That's the problem. I think it's banana, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lauren, you know, what are we going to do? It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. I think what you and Emma do are up to you guys. 
I agree. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not going to tell anybody what what they should do and what they shouldn't do. Do you like Kool Aid Lawn? Uh, Kool Aid's all right. Lauren likes Tang, Poon Tang, like the Poon Tang Clan. That was actually funny. You're not laughing, Lauren. Yeah, that's because it's what twelve thirty night, something like that. I'm gonna. I don't, know, um, I don't know why she. I don't know why she keeps calling you and Emma. It's so late at night. Yeah, I, I don't get it either. Were you in bed? Yes. You and Lauren should be friends. You both have a lot in common. Like we have friends. You both are handsome. You both sleep naked. You both like um to eat chicken, and you both like Emma kind of and I think that um that I can be a good friend to you both Dan you and Emma and I'm really sorry and you both like Mexican chi cheese <laughs> Lauren likes your girlfriend's chi cheese by the way well they're nice chi cheese I can't blame them for that so are you going to come to California I'm going to do what I'm going to do if Baby you, steps, Wendy. If you do, um, I want to try a Wendy's Frosty. <sighs> what, what am I, a piggy bank? No, you're a food truck. Honk, honk. <laughs> you don't know what I'm honking. It's the honking horn. Has she been taking medication tonight, Lauren? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they get it on something. It's creamy. Like, I seen it on the commercial. Oxycodone or oxycotton or something like that. Oxy. And they're not talking about acne pads, baby. <laughs> all right, so, Dan, you're going to accept all my apologetics, and I'm going to, like, give you a big hug when I see you, and I'm not going to think sexually of you anymore. Or talk about your big cock to anybody because Lauren says it's none of my business that you fuck and it's, my it's not. It's okay. not none of your business. And you fuck her throat with it all deep. She doesn't even <laughs> cough. Wendy, 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 don't piss me off. Wendy. Okay? Do you know how she does that? What? She told me. Wendy. You have to stick your tongue Wendy. out. Wendy. Who cares, Wendy? I'm telling you, Lauren. No. Nah. No. If you stick. People see no. Nah. Stuff. Yeah, but Lauren, when you fuck my throat, in, in, uh, when you fuck my throat, I'm gonna stick. More about it. No more. You don't need to say any more sexual shit. All right. Thank you, Dan. You're a good teacher and a good friend, and I apologize. Ref, ref, gar. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to make you laugh, friend. None of this is funny right now, Wendy. All right, but what? All you're doing is pissing us off. I'm just saying, you gotta, like, stick your tongue out when it goes down your throat and you won't gag. It's a trick that she taught me. I haven't had to try it yet. I'm Lauren. Wendy! What, baby? God damn it! Stop, stop with the fucking stupid shit. I'm sorry, but I just pictured you yelling and you're naked and your balls probably scrunched up really cute, baby. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm in love with Lauren Armstrong. You need to stop with the stupid sexual bullshit. Get your mind right away from sexual and shit and start talking about something more appropriate. I like Kool-Aid. You didn't ask me, but I like Tropical Punch flavor. By the way, Wendy, how are you feeling? How how did everything work out with your surgery? Are you recovering well? No, I have a really bad fever and like I have a blood infection, but I am gonna be okay because Lauren said so. And even and I have hospice now helping with my pain, my my two surgeries and 
they pulled an object out of my pussy that I shoved in there and I was masturbating. And that's healing too. Thank you for asking. I'll be okay. I hope they let me out soon. Well, as long as you do the right things and take care of yourself. <laughs> and by the way, I wasn't thinking of you when I put the object in. It was Lauren. Right, baby? Well, I actually hope so. Yeah. Lauren, what if you get stuck in my pussy like the hairbrush handle? <laughs> you shouldn't do that, Wendy. You could hurt yourself. I know, Lauren, but, um, I mean, Dan. I'm Dan. That's what I meant. I tried not to hurt myself. I was trying to give myself pleasurable and be pleasured. But I'll be better. They stretch, they stick a stretcher in my pussy every day to make sure it's healing. Why would they do that? Because they had to, they had make to. Sure, make sure it doesn't heal together. Yeah, they had to scrape the inner walls and they said that like your tissue inside of you likes to heal together and find other tissue. So they have to put stuff inside of me and it hurts. It's like a painful procedure and they put lidocaine or something like that, that the, like the dentist put in your ears and they give me a shot in my belly button before they do it. Well, just remember all this that you're going through. The next time you choose to stick a, a hair care product in your vagina. I'm going to make a joke. It wasn't the handle of my hairbrush. It was the dandle. <laughs> I forget it. Wendy, that's not funny. I don't even know what a dandle is. <laughs> Sometimes people name their sex toys. Wendy, that's not funny. Oh. It's... Sorry. What, are you throwing up over there? Yeah. All right, baby. <laughs> I'm drinking. I'm drinking some orange crush over here. <laughs> when you're fucking Emma, you said I'm sweating over here. And where else would you be sweating? <laughs> okay, Wendy. Wendy. Remember. You don't need dog about anybody fucking. <laughs> How many times does Lauren have to tell you not to do this and you continue to do this? Did you think it was funny when she said, I think some of your sweat got in my mouth, baby? You, why do you have to keep referencing this? Because I watched it like three <clears throat> times today online before I took it down and before I reported it away. Did you report it away, or are you lying? Well, it's gone. I reported it away, but I watched it first, like, three times, and then, like, after the hour was through, I just reported it. It was, like, at 3 p.m. It's gone. It better be. But it's alive in my heart. <laughs> just kidding. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. The thing you shouldn't be kicking about, Wendy. You want Dan and Emma to be friends with you again, but you, you need to, you, you really need to think more about what you're saying. Mm. Think before you speak. Have a filter. Okay, but just one more thing. Remember when Emma said you were the pussy crusher? <laughs> okay, I've had enough. Wendy. <laughs> All right, sorry, Dan. I've had enough. Goodbye. Bye, Crusher. All right, he Wendy. accepted my apology. It's all good now, baby. Oh, it's not all good when you keep saying stupid shit. 
I thought I was being Leave this private shit alone. Do you want to see the video? No, I don't want to see the video. <laughs> it's offline. You can't if you see have it, anyway. you need to delete it. I don't have it. Emma can't get into my you phone need to stop talking. Can she? You need to see what? Emma can't get into my phone anymore, can she? Not that I know. I don't know how it works. Okay, good. So I deleted the video. I don't have it. You need to stop talking about his dick and her pussy. I was only talking about his dick. Not Pete. Huh? I was only talking about his dick. I wasn't even talking about her pussy. That's disrespectful to him. So... You don't think talking about his dick is, is disrespectful to me? No, because you both are men. You both have cocks, piss pots, and poop shoots, baby. It doesn't matter. I don't want to hear about his dick. You already know that. Why do you keep saying <laughs> pussy? Are you thinking of what Emma's pussy feels like? It doesn't feel like velvet. It feels like sandpaper. I cut my finger in it. I don't, I don't think about his dick. I don't think about her pussy. That's them. That's not me. I'm not in their relationship. Can I jack you off with Sandy? I'm in a relationship with you. Oil? I'm in a relationship with you. I the only That's the only pussy I think about. Yeah, but when I say Emma's pussy was a little bit hairy when Dan was fucking it, didn't you, like, think of a hairy pussy? No. I couldn't believe that you were talking about it. Are you thinking about it right now, Harry Pussy? It wasn't that Harry. No. No, no. Have you ever fucked a woman with a Harry Pussy? Yep. Was it gross? It wasn't gross. It wasn't in my mouth, so. It wasn't gross. Yeah, they already put it in my mouth. That's cool. So you don't mind if I don't wax all the time? I don't mind if you don't wax all the time. As long as you don't go no foot long. Uh, a foot long hair, pussy hair, bush. What if it starts curling up like your crop circles? Then it starts growing up. And then our crop circles okay. are going to fight when we have sex and they're going to have a battle and they're going to like pull each other out of our bodies. I'd rather have you shaved though. I'm on, see, I told you. Fucking pigs. What? 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 Because you want it to look like a little girl. What? What? What'd you say? Because you want it to look like a little girl. No. So you shaved. I don't care if you shave it off or if you, if you trim it. You don't, you don't want it long. I think you should have said trim, okay? I want to shoot your cock right now with it like a BB gun. Right in the head. Christ, stop. Stop with this little, all this little girl crap. Little girl? Not interested in a little, yeah, I'm not interested in a little girl. Well, then a prepubescent girl. Then. You need to stop. Okay. What's the youngest girl you ever fucked? Youngest girl I ever fucked? Okay. Why? You say it was Tony? I said it was tw she was 20. Oh. 20. Oh. The number, 20. Do 
Do you want me to count my hairs down there so you know I don't have too many? You want to keep saying offensive shit? Yeah. Well, don't. <laughs> How are you feeling? Offensive. No, don't feel offensive. I am for abortion. I think you should wait till they're right after the eighth month and then rip them out. Can I abort you? No, I'm not inside of you. I think it'd be funny if you got me pregnant every year and I got an abortion and pretend I was having a miscarriage. <laughs> I was one of, one of those years we want to pull and have a kid. <laughs> I get pregnant like every year. And I'll say, oh, sorry, baby. And you have a bunch of bloody coat hangers. All your work clothes will be bloody. You don't know why. And you'll be like, that was a really good burrito. I'm glad Emma taught you how to cook that meat. <laughs> Once a year, you'll eat your own baby. <laughs> Calm down, you're going to hurt your throat. Uh, Emma ate like a thousand of Dan's babies because she tried to drink as much cum as she could because he said, drink as much as you can, baby. Listen. <laughs> Listen. She really I was already up. told you. I've already told you to not talk about and then Dan's actually. Uh, do you think his sperm is dead too? Let's <sighs> not talk about him and Dan's actually. I want you to rub your cock up and down my ass crack. You up? Uh, I want to eat a big old dick. Well, come get it. Have you ever seen Terminator 2? Yep. And there was a comment on the video that after Dan comes and is some of it like dripped on the MS Chi Chi, it'll collect like the liquid metal and, and it'll turn. <laughs> It'll turn into another <laughs> cunt crusher. <laughs> you have to keep talking about the video and shit, don't you? When does Dan come on the floor? Can't you talk about something else? <laughs> well, sometimes you see a good movie and you're like, you gotta talk about it. Yeah, well, you don't need to be talking about him. His nipples are better than yours, sorry. Oh, according to you, everything's been better on Dan than it is on me. So whatever. That's not true. I don't know what your cum tastes like or his. I can't compare. Doesn't matter. You can keep doing, keep doing stupid shit like this. I like you want to find somebody else. No, I want to be with you. You're my firework. Well, prove it. You already know I don't like offensive bullshit. What about stuffing my dead body and putting it in a closet to fuck after I die? No. Yeah. Well, we got to remain together first. All right, but that's not offensive. Are you, did you tell your mom your plan? Is she going to help pick out the clothes I need for eternity? What the hell would I tell my mother for? Because if it's not offensive, then why wouldn't you? It's a joke between me and you. It's not a joke. You really want to do it. You probably called, like, one of your taxidermy brothers. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> You're dumb. You need to stop with all the sexual bullshit. All right, baby, I'm sorry. 
when it comes to other people, leave other people alone. You want to dance friendship with Becky? He's, he's basically told you he's willing to give it to you, but he's going to take it slow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't call him again. Hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> you yawn really cute. Hey, I have something to tell you. What? Hello? Hello? What? Dan. Hello? Yeah. Hey, Dan. What, what is, what's going on here? What? All right, hold on. I'm really sorry for earlier when I was talking sexually about you. It's okay. Yeah. Are you naked like Lauren? Are you fucking kidding me? Mm. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you woke me up for this? <laughs> Just kidding. Bye. It's okay, baby. I hung up on him. Why did you even call him? Well, at first, I was going to ask him if he was wearing that blue G-string, but then I thought that would make you mad, baby, so then I just apologized again. Aren't you proud of me? Yeah, but you don't need to keep calling people. I'm sorry. Why do you feel it's necessary to call people and wake them up? Me, fine. You called me Other all people? night. No. Oh. Huh? You called me all night. I said, me is fine if you call and wake me up. No, you called you me all night. don't need to call other people. You called me all night. I said, it is fine if you call and wake me up. Other people, leave them alone. Call me all night if you want to. That's different. I'm your boyfriend, so that's different. <laughs> Other people you can leave alone. Have you ever seen a point out called Two Girls, One Cup? No. I want Dan to take a shit in the ice cream cone. <laughs> What's funny about that? <laughs> Emma will eat it. She'd eat the shit right out of his ass, wouldn't she? <clears throat> I wish you would stop talking about sexual shit all the time. I wish I had buttermilk pancakes with syrup. Like, really hot. Like, you put the butter on it, and it goes away right away. Because it melts. Okay, mm. I gotta go. It's up to you. All you're doing is talking sexual shit anyway about other people. Dan probably rubs his balls drinking out of the orange juice container at the fridge in the middle of the night, huh? And there you go again, talking sexual shit about someone else. I can't help it. I'm on medication, just like when you're on Bud Light. Oh, you can you can help it. I wish I could help, you can help myself that. to it. When I drink Bud Light, I don't talk sexual shit about other people. Well, it's not sexual. Anyway, he had itchy balls. And the world is really hungry. Maybe we can invite them to a Dan buffet because he comes huge loads. That's the way they won't be hungry anymore. I really can't believe that you think I like to hear my girlfriend <laughs> saying shit like that. <laughs> You probably have tapeworm, and when you take a shit, you you pull out the tapeworm, and you think it's toilet paper. Mm. 
Will you please stop talking sexual shit about other people? Yeah. I want to like a thing. Coffee. Dan is perfect. Well, I guess you probably ought to go after him, then we'll, we'll break up and you can go after him. Are you sure, baby? Hey, it's what you want. You can't stop talking about him. I'm tired of you talking about him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey. <gasps> what the fuck? Lauren said that we could break up and you and I can finally be together, baby. What? Uh, see, Lauren, see when you say stupid shit like that? Cut it out. Sorry, Dan. It was just an experiment. Go to sleep. I love you. I mean, never mind. I love, I like you. Go to bed. Wait a minute. What? I hung up on him. <laughs> see, Lauren, when you say stupid shit, see what happens? All right, I called her and she asked me how I was doing. And then I gave her Dan's number and she called. <laughs> Here, hold on. I have the recording. I'll play it for you. Because Dan, I told Dan to record it. And because they said have sex with Matilda and record it. He said, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's something you shouldn't do, though. I'll record people. Cause, and, see, uh, what happens is if you record somebody. Hello? And, uh, Hi, Matilda. <laughs> you remember what happened last night? Baby, Matilda had too much wine. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you was on the floor. Matilda! You had to hear me say Hi, dirty Matilda. words. Oh, my. <laughs> hey, baby. How you doing, Matilda? <laughs> I'm sorry for last night, baby. I did not know she was going to call me with that man on the other line. I'm sorry. I said no uh, things. I mean, I'm sorry, too, because I don't remember what happened. <laughs> oh, Matilda got caught flirting with some man. She... She called me oh, and said, really? <laughs> she called me and said, his name's Dan, and would you like to talk to him? And I said, okay, baby. And she told me she hung up. And then, well, I'll just tell you, I described what I would do to something that God made so beautiful and enjoyable, baby. I ain't going to get too, too graphic. And then you started laughing, and I got so embarrassed, and you hung up, Lauren. And then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Matilda, uh, Matilda yeah. been sending pictures to that man. My, um... Matilda been sending pictures to that man. He know, he know what color my nipples is. Matilda, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> are you still drinking? Matilda, <laughs> baby, I'm depressed. Matilda, you know that he has, you know that he has a girlfriend, right? No, baby. They broke up, the one with the tattoos. Yeah, they basically back together. You know, baby, I don't know what to tell you. I feel very embarrassed. I gotta admit, I woke up and had another nip of three. And I'm just but I, I'm very, I, baby, ever since I lost my job, I've just been sleeping in bed, depressed. And last night, that man made me perk up. I said, Lord, Lord, I found the river. But I ain't going to tell you where, Lord, and that's private. Matilda, you're on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby, I, I, I'm going to hang up before I say something I regret. God bless you. Bye, Matilda. <laughs> Bye, Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't record it. I was just kidding. I want you to know the way that it works. You can record somebody all you want, but it's when you play it to somebody else that you can get sued for. Oh. I want you to know that. So that, that way you don't you don't wind up recording somebody and, and play it to anybody else. I forgot that Emma took away my app. I used to be able to push my volume up and the on button, and it'll take a picture of the screen. But and it'll record. But Emma took it off, I think. Well, I love you, baby. And the channel is horrible.
horny, huh? <laughs> that was funny. I didn't know she could get horny. Oh, <laughs> uh, she's funny. She's definitely a funny woman. She said she sent Dan a picture. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to yeah, ask I'm, him to I'm, send I'm, it to me. I'm sure that made Dan blush. Yeah, you can tell when he blushes because he's white. But I can't tell when Matilda blushes, so I didn't know she could get horny. <laughs> It's not I racist. I think everybody to say should that. get horny, baby. What? I said I think everybody can get horny. I can't think of Matilda and horny, but I would have a naked pillow fight with her. I want to squeeze her boobs with permission. <laughs> I want to squeeze your boobs. I know you saw them, kind of. I saw them, kind of? Yeah. When? Last night. Last night I did? Yeah, and you got so mad. And you said, this isn't you, I'm deleting the picture. And then you said, multimedia file, my ass. And I said, it's really me. And then you said, I didn't. Oh, no. You said, I didn't even get no, a picture. No, I, I remember. I remember that. I, I clicked it on. I didn't. I didn't know what it was. I clicked it on. Uh, it disappeared. Uh, like, I didn't. I didn't get to see anything. Man, I, I kept looking for it. And I was like, really, "Where the hell did it go?" And fucking Emma. I didn't believe it. She took off. She took off any way that I could make a recording or even take a picture. I think. Well, last night, that sucks. I won't see your movies. you called me a jerk and said I was an asshole. And then I sent a picture of, um, I tried to send a picture of my boobs to Dan to piss you off. And I couldn't. Uh, well, you don't send a picture of your boobs to Dan. He's not your boyfriend, I am. I know, you called me an asshole oh, and a jerk. And you said, you want Dan, go have him. I said, I don't even want Dan. I was asking him how to do deep breathing exercises, and you said, you don't want me. I said, fine. I sent my boobs to Dan, and he said, ew, I don't like little boobs like yours. Don't send me. I'm going to tell Lauren. You don't send me boobs. Don't send your boob pictures to anybody but me. I know. He got mad. We got We broke up last night. Oh. You're so mean to me. I, I don't even remember that. I, got, I thought you and Dan got mad at each other and I was trying to be there for you. That's, that's all I remember. I don't remember. Dan kept I don't remember being mad at you. Dan kept saying, calm down, Lauren. I'm not doing anything bad. And why were you listening to the conversation without saying hi? And you said, fuck you. And you called him an F word, an F-A-G word. I did? Yeah. Well, that wasn't very nice. I'm going to have to apologize to Dan. Yeah, and then Dan said, how can I be gay? I eat your best friend's pussy like breakfast. And you said, enough with the sexual <laughs> shit. And you got mad at that. And he was just telling you the truth. Uh, well, uh, what a jerk. <laughs> I know. That's terrible. Why do you do that? You should be happy when you're drunk. I don't I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's just the, the, the I think it's just the the threat that you keep me, keep mentioning Dan this and Dan that, and that's it's in my brain. And I get a it's gonna take a little bit for it to get out of my brain. Yeah, right. Once it's out of my brain, the whole I'm, yeah. Once it's out of my brain, and I know it's not a threat. You're well, lying and, again. You don't even have a brain. Last night you were being so mean, and I said. Where is this man's head? And you said, you want your head right up Dan's ass, wouldn't you? And I didn't understand. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. Why were you like that? Well, you are I don't know, baby. I, I don't know. When you're drunk, 
the devil goes in your heart. And you, know. you think it's funny when you're mean. I felt sad last night. I didn't do anything wrong. You said, send me a picture of your tits. And I did. And you said, <laughs> I didn't get it. I said, you just said you tried to open it. And you said, I don't remember that. And you're just like, oh my God. Like Orville Redenbacher or something. I, I do remember I, mean, I do remember you sending me something but when I tried to open it it wouldn't open then and I wasn't then, uh, I, was, uh, I was looking through the text and I was like what the, what the hell happened to it I was looking all through it trying to find it and I couldn't find it anywhere because you deleted it on accident probably because you saw it you saw he sent it and you were like I don't know how to work this fucking shit I can't see straight and I said, are you drinking? He said, just coffee. Get off my ass. I said, I'm not on your ass. Dave, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry for being an asshole. And you kept calling me Xavier Lover, and you asked me how Xavier's dick tasted. And I said, why, you want to suck it? And you said, fuck you. Jesus. Yeah. I'm sorry I was an asshole last night. Okay, but... I, mean, I, don't, I don't remember being an asshole. I didn't, you know, the last thing I remember was, was I was trying to be there for you because you and Dan were mad at each other and and Dan sent me some message saying that he was going to resue you. Do you remember... That's why I was trying to be there for you. Do you remember driving uh -huh. home? You remember driving home last night? And you said, oh, fuck, a cat. Oh, no, it was a skunk. And you hit a skunk, but it was a cat named Lulu. A cat named Lulu? A cat. Oh, no. Uh, no, there weren't a cat named Lulu. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I remember driving home. I remember going home. Yeah, I remember I remember that I ran over the top of a skunk. Yeah, you, and then you said, no, baby, it wasn't a skunk, don't worry. I said, was it a cat? And you said, yeah, baby, don't worry, it wasn't anything. And I said, you killed Lulu. And you said, shut up, you're trying, I can't drive straight with you crying. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I remember. Okay. Anyway, that's what I remember that I don't remember. And then you said, <laughs> and then I told him that um, my mouse, I told you my mouse was dead. And you said, well, you don't have to worry about the cat eating your mouse anymore, don't you? All mean. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's terrible. I know. Sorry I was an asshole, baby. But it's like. My vagina closed up for you forever last night when you were mean. It didn't close up for me forever. Because I'm right here and you're right there and you're going to be here and we're going to be together. Dan, and we're going we're gonna to wind up getting things straight. Okay, but you really shouldn't call Dan the F-A-G word because that's not nice. I'm not a no, that's not nice. I gotta apologize to Dan for that. For he, doing that. he wasn't even trying I to tell I remember you. Doing that. He was just being nice. Like telling you, calm down, Lauren. Go um go lay down for a little bit because you're being irrational and screaming. He said, I can scream all the fuck I want. Yeah, I gotta I gotta apologize to Dan for doing that. And then you said something about him having like a <laughs> horse dick or something. And he said, I can't help what I was born with and you're holding it against me. And then I said, I wish Dan would hold it against me to make you mad. And you said, fuck you both. Yeah, well, while you say something like that, I can understand why I get pissed. Yeah, but Nobody you started it. Like that. You started it. You called him a fag. You said he has a big, he, you don't care about his big dick. And, you, and gay people have him like that. And why don't you go suck a cock? And you said mean things. I had to, I had to set you straight because Dan was really hurting. It's not nice. No, what's nice? But it doesn't make it. It doesn't make it better when you 
try to say something to make me more mad. Well, yeah, but you were being a jerk, and you were like, um, calling him the F word, and I said, well, at least Dan can find the clip in the video, and you said, I don't give a fuck if he can find a clip or not. So in other words, you, you, you were sticking up for Dan, and then yeah, uh, provoked me. Right, because all he did was uh, say, who's shut up. Who's your boyfriend? All he did was say, have you talked to Emma today? And then he said, how are you doing? And um, I told him that my surgery is getting better. And I even said my surgery between my legs is getting better. And you said, don't. Tell that fucking faggot about your pussy. And I said, what is your problem? And you just got mad for nothing. You deserved it. You don't even know what you did, but it was an asshole move. Uh, yeah, but you still, there's things that you didn't, uh, that you shouldn't have done. I was, uh, I might have been an asshole, but it's still things you should not have done. No. Nope. I'm your boyfriend. You, no. I'm your boyfriend. You know, you're not supposed to provoke me to, to get mad and stuff. I have no blame. I told you to stop getting mad, and I don't have sex with Dan. And you said, well, you want to. You want him more than you want me. And Dan said, no, she doesn't want you. She doesn't want me. She wants you, Lauren, because I have Emma. And you said, I don't need either of you. I only need Wendy. And hang the fucking phone up on that fucking F word. You're really inexcusably mean. I'm sorry, baby, for being mean. Poor that dear. was mean. That was mean. I don't remember saying that stuff, but that was, that was mean. And then I told you to call your mom and tattle on yourself. And you said, don't you fucking talk about my fucking mother. And you got mad at Emma, too, because you kept telling me to call her. And she kept saying, please don't call me when you're inebriated. And I told her, fuck you, you dirty Mexican with brown nipples. And you laughed. And Emma said, so, Lauren, you think that's funny? And you said, well, yeah. And she said, don't ever call me again. What? Where are you? It says you're still on the phone. And you told her not to ever call Hi, you. Baby. And you told her. Uh huh? And you you told her to calm down, and she said, your girlfriend's calling me at 3 a.m. <laughs> insulting me and saying I have brown Mexican nipples. And I said, yeah, and they give chocolate milk. And then you started laughing, and Emma said, you think that's funny, Lauren? And you said, well, yeah. And um, Wendy don't, don't mean no harm. And Emma said, you can't call me inebriated anymore. And you said, oh, you're my best fucking friend. You didn't have any reason to leave me. And she said, don't ever call me back. Well, that was that all fast for me. That was because she knows I was drinking. She knows um, that's not the normal way I talk to her. Yeah, but don't you remember when I said... Emma, Lauren saw your tits, and um, and Lauren jacks off for your tits, and you said, you keep it up, I will, and Emma said, come on, Lauren, <laughs> and you're like, well, you got nice tits, I got to tell the truth, and you made me cry. No, I didn't mean to make you cry. I don't want to hear how oh, you I like. Do. I, I, I don't. I don't want to hear I don't how you remember. Like another woman's tits. That's not fair. I'm sorry, honey. I can't tell you anything about <laughs> Dan's body parts, but you and Emma. I don't know. You guys are like cheating on each other all over me. 
baby, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cheat on you. you I never that? wanted to see him as tits. That was the first time I had ever seen them as tits. I had never seen their tits before. You like them? I, I don't have that. I don't have that kind of interest in them. All. Well, you said and yeah. The only, one I have that, the only one I have that kind of interest in is you. And you said yeah. That's the only, you're the only one I care about. And you said yeah. You're the one that put them on my screen. And if my pecker got hard for them, it's because they were nice looking tits. And you should have told me the truth. And I started crying, crying. And then I called Dan. I'm sorry, baby. And I said, Dan, Lauren says he likes Emma's tits. And Dan said, well, they're nice tits. And I said, well, that's not fair because I can't say anything about how I like you, but I still love Lauren. And then Lauren said, Dan's a fucking faggot. He, and he sucks cock. Uh, I got to apologize to Dan. Okay. That was terrible for me to do that. Yeah. I, I don't remember doing it. But, yeah, I got to apologize to him for that. I was a peckerhead. I love you, baby. I love you too. I want you to know I don't. I don't have an interest for anybody else but you. To me, you're the only you are you're the only person in the world that has tits. You're the only person in the world that I want to see. Oh, then I want to see their tits. I'm not the only person in the world that has tits, and you're not the only person in the world that has a penis, <laughs> and it's okay for me to have a fantasy and not tell you about it to make you jealous, but it's not okay for you to call your friend and tell her she has nice tits when you know I'm sensitive about my little ones. All right, calm down. Don't give me a fake cry either. I can tell the difference between you fake and you're real. No, you can't, because I'm obviously hurting. See, now you've got to talk again. <laughs> you're minimizing it. Well, baby. You're just trying to, like, baby. confuzzle me. I love you. Uh, I won't talk about anybody, anybody's tips again. But you're hurting me. Except yours. I'll talk about your tips, because I love your tips. But you're hurting my tits. They're both sad. Now they're going to sag because they're well, sad. Send me, a, send me a picture of them so I can see them and I'll kiss them both. Maybe I will after you're done being mean. I'm done being mean. I'm getting hard on to you right now. Oh. I love hearing you. Really? Yeah. And really? Yeah. Because I'm driving, too. You have a hard on and you're driving? Where are you going? I'm working right now. Right, right now I'm making $18 an hour. Half drunk off your ass. Ha <laughs> ha! No, I'm not drunk. I didn't start for my 30. Okay. I didn't start working until 9.30 because I made sure that I got a right amount of sleep and did everything I was supposed to do. Ate breakfast, fed the dogs, took another shower this morning. I wish you were with, here with me. Okay. I want... Okay, like, last night... <laughs> Emma... I called Emma. And I told her... Um, in the video, Dan licked you from your belly button to your asshole. And you said, Stop fucking saying that! But I was only saying it because I, I think it would be hot. I want you to lick me from my belly button to my ass like Dan did to Emma. 
but don't stop in the middle to spit out a pubie hair like he did. Just swallow it. Hey. I want to lick you from your asshole to your belly button. Ow, that's the wrong your way. Asshole. Huh? You're going to lick my Cornville Crunch into my JJ. You got to do it from the belly button. <laughs> That's not... All right. Yeah. I, I do it from both. <laughs> I go up, and then I go back down. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Like my Cornville Crunch. Well, I suck your stinky <laughs> wiener. Oh, <laughs> uh, I love you. <laughs> baby, 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 if we want to get cut off, it's because the area that I'm going in, we might get cut off, we might not. My area I'm not real sure. is hairy right now because I'm not shaving it. You might get cut off in there too because the hairs are sharp and they're poking me. <laughs> yeah, I would love to be licking your hair right now. They gave me a lidocaine, a fentanyl patch, and something new today called Dilaudid. Dilaudid. Dilaudid? Yeah, because my oxygen levels are coming up, and they put me in a different part. And they gave me, um... That's my girl. Delouded. My baby is doing better. Jean What's your temperature, baby? Jean-Pierre Wary is going to put on a safari hat, and he's going to go searching in your pube jungle, and he's going to find a scary snake with a birth defect. That makes his neck a 90 degree angle. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. <laughs> Baby, you want me to go much you to get back or you want me to shave up? No, I want you to go bareback. I, I said, do you want me to grow my pubic hair back or do you want me to shave up? Oh, I found a new thing I like. I want you to get like a stripe of hair from your belly button to your cock, like a long line. <laughs> and your cock heads the arrow at the end of the line. It's an artist, an art. You do that, Kay? Um, I would know when, you're, when you're here, we'll do that. No, you asked me what I wanted. It'll be a landing strip. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to go, Voo! <laughs> oink, 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 oink. Let me slobber on it like a little piggy. Yeah, but we'll do that when, you, when you're here. I want you to, to do that stuff to me. Then why the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I want you to... Why did you ask? I want you to say whatever you want to say. Then why did you ask? Well, I have no one well, because I want to no, know. If you want me to go in my pubic hair back, then I'm going to start keep going in the back right now. Lauren, do if you... you want me to shave it, then I'll shave it. Lauren, do you want me to but, go see you? Oh, yeah. I, I want you to be with me forever. I got a prepaid card today. I can just jump on a plane. Do you want me to go see you? You got a what card? I got a prepaid phone card, and I can charge plane tickets to it. Do you want me to come see you? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, okay, but I'm not gonna, though. You know, I was just you're, asking. You're not gonna. No, I was just asking. Yeah. Just just like with you and the pews. You're being, you're being a smart ass. Yeah. You're being a smart ass. Yeah. You <laughs> asked me how I wanted your pubes, and I told you how, and you said, nope, not going to do it. So that's what you get, you little monkey oh, twat. Oh, crap. You're so funny. You're a blue waffle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a strawberry shortcake. Yeah, and you're going to lick all my cream. You stick your tongue in my pussy hole. I'm gonna come down your throat. You're gonna swallow me all up. Yeah. I taste like a caramel apple, baby. Yummy. What was that? <laughs> Emma. Great to taste you. Emma's here. Very much. Why are you talking Very dirty? Very to taste you. The fuck's? <laughs> Do you want me to leave? Now, I was telling Lauren about my pussy taste. Yeah, it tastes like a fart. Is that Emma? Yeah. Emma. With, with Emma, was I an asshole last night? Oh, my God, Lauren. You really... I'm so sorry. 
I was like, what is wrong with you? And that's why I came wow. today. Because Casey was, or Wendy, sorry, was crying. And, like, she was crying nonstop. And you just kept saying, "And wouldn't you? You'd like that, wouldn't you, Wendy? You'd like to be there watching. And I'm like, Lauren, what are you doing? And you said, yeah, and you fucking let your boyfriend fucking flirt with my girlfriend all day and night and he's a fucking faggot trying to prove he's straight and I'm like dude he proves he's straight every time he pushes my guts into my throat what's your problem it, you just were like wow I don't know why you were so mad I'm last sorry night. I, I, I gotta apologize to Dan that, that was terrible well I just came by here cause <laughs> I don't, not, um, Taco Bell doesn't uh, do Taco Bell doesn't do regular tacos for breakfast but Here's an egg taco. What the fuck is this shit? It doesn't even have any ground beef. Yeah, it has... Oh, hey! They're on the bottom. Why would you be mad at her when she brought you something? Hey, don't... Hey! That's a new shirt. Wendy. I don't want it. Take it away. Wendy! Wendy! You don't yell at my boyfriend. Smart your ass up. He can do what he wants. Wendy! Now pick up that taco... Wendy! ...before you slip. Wendy! It's okay, she's gone. Wendy! Wendy! What? Can you hear me? Yeah. Smart your ass up. It wasn't... Don't treat them like that anymore. It was an egg taco. What the fuck is this Mexican make everything Mexican? Bring me an egg on a plate, not so in a what? tortilla. She was nice enough, she was, she was nice enough to bring you something. Yeah, she, your ass up. she thinks I'm a crybaby. I can't handle myself because I was crying last night. Really? Wendy. I wish Wendy. it was Dad Wendy. that brought me a taco. Smarten your ass up. Why? I got like an adult, not like a kid. You! You kept telling Dan he sucks Treat. cum out of buttholes. Treat, when the, treat Emma better than that. She brought you something to eat. Well, I gave it back to her. She didn't have to do that. Uh, take it graciously. I can't help it that she's a soccer Thank player you. and not used to using her hands to catch stuff that goes towards her. She's used to using her mouth, though. <laughs> you need you need to be nice to her. You need to stop <laughs> acting like that. That's she, just not funny. She probably calls football football americano. <laughs> she's Mexican. That's stupid. <laughs> you need to stop acting like that. All right, I'm sorry. Treat Emma better than that. I'm she, sorry. She is, she's your friend, remember? I'm sorry. You don't want to lose her as a friend again, do you? No, of course not. It's just how we play around. Okay. We're like Rick James. Well, you don't. Know, you don't know, ruin Charlie that shirt. Murphy. You don't know, ruin it. You don't know, ruin anything. Anything of anybody. It's not your place to ruin something of someone's. See. I'm like Rick James because I got an attitude and I'm sassy. And Emma's like Charlie yeah, Murphy. Well, you need to get She'll rid of the just attitude. fucking beat your ass. She don't even care. She'll just beat you up. It's me. I'm Charlie Murphy. I give Emma's titties three thumbs down because they're Mexican. Ugh. So what? She's your friend. Treat her like a friend. Mr. Willis, I need to go um, outside now. Are you cutting? You're cutting out. Do you get cut? Baby. Oh my god. Hello. Oh my god. Okay, I can hear you. I'm, I'm in a bad area, so if we if we get cut off, that's it's because I'm in a bad area. I tried calling the back a couple of times, but I couldn't. I still couldn't get a signal. Your friend's a cunt. Uh, you need to be nice to her because you want her as your friend too. She told the nurse what I did. Uh, she told the nurse, excuse me, please be careful. We had a little spill in the hospital room because there's egg all over the floor. 
She fucking told on me, that bitch. <laughs> you know, you know, stop your bullshit. You don't need to act like that. You're 35, not 30, not 30. Oh. Why is she a snitch? Oh, why are you acting like that? Don't treat, don't treat your friend like that. She my friend. She, she was nice enough to bring you something to eat. An egg taco. She might as well have given me her maxi so? pad with a turd in the middle rolled up. Did you know that she was coming over? No, but I was crying last night. She called okay, me back. Okay, so, uh, so don't you think it was nice for her just to show up with something to eat, for you to eat without you even asking her? The cheap wetback she didn't even bring nice me you. anything to drink, though. Uh, so? At least she brought you something to eat. She doesn't have a lot of money, you know. It's not working right now. Start thinking of that stuff. She's nice enough to think of you. Whatever. Don't you think you ought to apologize to her because she's nice enough to think of you? No. She can go. Don't treat her like that. Walk her spickety spack ass back to rehab. Go pick some strawberries or something. Hey, but baby, you see what I'm saying? Um, don't treat her like that. She's being nice to you. I told her right now by text. And I said you agree. You said what? I told her that you agree. She's a wetback. And she can take her spickety spack ass back to pick strawberries for all we care. Um, we don't need now you can Now you can call her up and straighten it out. And don't tell her that I say anything because she knows better than that. She knows I don't, I'm not like that. What do you mean like that? That I'm not, she knows that I'm not going to call her name and just stuff like that. So you don't have a the only problem? Time I act like that was, the only time I act like that was when I'm drunk and out of my mind. What do you mean? I'm act, sober, I don't act like that. Before. Act insulting or, or say racial slurs. The only time I have I insult people is when I'm, when I'm drunk. So you don't have a I don't, problem. I don't do it when I'm sober because I know what I'm thinking about. You don't have a problem that I'm racist huh? and using racist and racial slurs, but you do have a problem that I'm just being rude to your friend. That's what the problem is. You don't care that I'm saying these things about her, her heritage. <laughs> You behave, please. What's the answer, Lauren? I'm asking you, I'm asking you to be nice to Emma because she's being nice to you. You and your family probably throw churros in a fire and say, ha ha, these are Mexicans that live in our city, huh? That's why you don't have a problem with what I said, just that I was mean. Am I right? I know you're there. I can see you. To accept, press one. I'm to right, send a right. voicemail, press two. I know two. I'm being an asshole. I'm totally baiting. I'm just to accept, still press right. one. To send a voicemail. I know it's not fair, and I know it's totally shooting a dead fish in a barrel. But it's still a truth. I love you. Um. I love you. Do you love me really? Even though I'm racist? I love you, I love you, I love you. Wow. Baby, hang on. Baby, hang on. I gotta take this call. It's, it's the dispatcher, so I gotta, I gotta take the call. So hang on. All right. Little does he know, when he comes back, I'm gonna be on the phone with Dan, setting up an apology. It's gonna be really fun. Okay, Dan? I need a hunk of a man to set me straight. Lauren Armstrong won't fit the bill. 
I need somebody who's taller than five feet. I want a cock. <laughs> That's not crooked. I mean, a crooked cock is what I want. I want it in my butt. Hi. You what? Hi, Emily. All right. So what are you doing? Trying to call Dan so you can give him a lot of apologies. Yes, I do. I owe him a big apology. I never heard. I heard Dan cry before. And then, like, last night he cried again and you called him a pussy after you called him an F word. Um, well, that's, that was terrible of me to do that. And you told him that's why Emma it's don't want terrible. you. And, but you misheard. Because I played the sex video. You thought Dan was telling me he was licking me, but it wasn't hey, that. Hang ah! Hurry up! Hey, hang up. Listen to me. I get to pull over the side of the road for a second because I get to come out and the battery is dying. Okay. I want to have sex with you, Lauren. I want your penis in my butt. I'm going to uh -oh. shit it out like a turd. <laughs> I want to see you jack off, Lauren. Lauren Armstrong has sex with his mom. He puts it in her wrinkly vagina. Then he plugs his ass with his thumb. And you get your free thumb and you put it in her asshole. It's called double chocolate dip. I tried calling you at the same time you tried, that you tried calling me. That's why you didn't get me. Oh, whatever. I love you. A beautiful woman. I wish I had that egg burrito now. You said the what? I wish I had the egg burrito now. Well, I should have called that before, huh? I'm a burrito. You get a call and apologize. You get a call and apologize. You can get a call in so I can apologize to him. Just not, not yet, though. Because I got to um, pick up this trailer here. Okay? All right, I guess. Uh-huh. Hold on. Hello? Are you home yet? I am, uh... Not home. What do you want? I'm in the restroom. Up the way from you trying to wash my shirt. You little fucking bitch. It is a joke. I'm gonna tell Dan not to come this weekend because you're being that way. Is Dan coming? Yeah. Check 395. I get to pick up a trailer that's going to Hollis. Sorry, guys. I got to talk on the CB and all that crap, too, okay? All right. But when's Dan going to be here? He's getting on a plane in like an hour. When will he be here? Wendy. He lands at three. Fuck that bullshit off. Are you both going to come visit me at the same the, time? Apologize to Emma for doing what you did. What'd I do? The burrito. Emma, I'm sorry about the burrito. Will you please get Dan here now? I am. I asked him to get on a plane. Wendy. You need to worry about Emma being there. I don't care. I'm afraid. Well, you, sorry, well she's not going to hurt you. 
Christ, she brought you a fucking burrito, for Christ's sake. It was a taco. It's like a dollar less than a burrito. I want Dan's burritos. Who cares? He brings the good ones. Who cares? So what? Honey, I don't have a lot of money you right wasn't now. Even, you, wasn't, uh, you wasn't expecting Emma to bring anything. I, you wasn't even expecting Emma. He has a little bit more money than I do, so he can bring me the better kind. Dan would never bring me such a piece of cheap shit taco with an egg and Wendy. cheese. Wendy. Wendy. I'm sorry. Be grateful. Well, Emma, don't be sorry. She just stopped that bullshit. You guys gotta bear with me. I gotta go in and get my old. Is Dan, what's he gonna wear? I don't know, probably me. Emma. <laughs> yeah. Wendy, what the fuck did the fuck difference doesn't make what he wears. Did you hear what she said? She said she, he would wear her. I didn't hear. Uh, well, that, that's a good idea. <laughs> Are you going to me? I guess. Oh, shit. I mean, really, if even if it was like a cheap taco that Dan brought me, at least Dan like would bring it to me and do his hair and like wear some makeup or something. I don't. I look. In the video, Dan put lip gloss on, and you need to stop talking about it. I don't have access to makeup, so stop fucking tripping. When Dan comes, are you going to rub his sexy muscles? Yes. <laughs> Lauren has muscles, too. I know. Hey, um, Lauren likes your cheese. <laughs> He what? He likes your chi-chis. He wants to honk them like this. Honk, honk. We'll do it together. Right, Lauren? What? We can honk Emma's boobs together. And then at the same time, Don, Dan will honk my ass. Yeah. Dan will go <laughs> honk, honk on your ass. And Lauren, you get the left one and you say honk, honk, okay? Honk, honk. <laughs> Oh, don't. You guys are fucking silly. Dan will, <laughs> Dan will be here later. I'm going to visit with him first. No, tell him to come see me first. No. Will you please bring me a meatloaf from Millie's Diner? A meatloaf? Yeah, after you're done getting stretched out by his meatloaf and... And I can think of Lauren's 40 pounds of fat. Okay. I think Lauren would do a threesome with us. No, I only have sex with Dan. Invite Dan. Lauren's down for it. He owes Dan anyway. He made really made comments about him. I don't think Lauren will want to have fun or group sex with me and Dan and you. Why not? Ask him, Lauren! <laughs>